So let's dive into the fish barn and talk a little bit more about killifish and the killie carnival. This convention was specifically geared towards killifish, which included a judged killifish show, an all species swap, and an auction on Sunday. Killifish are some of the most underrated fish in the hobby. Much like the Gadeads that I keep in the fish barn, we need to make sure to keep these fish for conservation purposes. There are two things you need to keep in mind when caring for killifish, temperature and a lid. Killifish like to be kept cool. You'll need to make sure that your tank temperature stays in the low to mid 70s. Killifish are accomplished jumpers, so make sure that you have a tight fitting lid. Killifish will escape even out of the smallest hole. Telling males and females apart is quite easy. The males will have spectacular colors, while the females will be quite drab. You can find killifish from all over the world except for Antarctica and Australia. There's even a couple species of killifish that live here in Michigan. Generally, killifish can be classified in two types, annuals and non-annuals. Annual killifish live in water that's not permanent and have evolved to reach sexual maturity quickly and will lay eggs in the substrate of a puddle. Once the puddle dries up, this cycle will repeat itself once the water returns. In the aquarium, these types of fish will last about two years. Killifish that are considered non-annual will grow more slowly and lay their eggs on fine leaf plants or in spawning mops. These fish grow slower and have a much longer lifespan. This is a very brief overview on killifish and there's a ton more information out there on them. So I will go ahead and put a link in the description to the American Killifish Association where you can find out more. So now that we've learned a little bit more about killifish, let's go ahead and look at some of the highlights of the aquarium show. So make sure that you stay to the end of the video because I'll go ahead and walk you through some of the killifish species that I picked up at the Sunday auction. While this was only some of the species that were at the show, 
It was really great to see the diversity of all the different Kelly fish species, as well as the location differences amongst fish of the same species. I couldn't just go without coming home with a few killies of my own from the auction. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I picked up. So first up are these Fundula Panchex Gardneri Gold. This killie fish is found in Southern Nigeria and Western Cameroon. You can find Gardneri killie fish from quite a few different locations in this region. So keeping the locations separate and distinct is important. These fish are beautiful with the males being absolutely stunning. I currently have them in a 15 gallon tank which I planted with guppy grass. Definitely a fish I'm pretty excited to breed. Uh, we're going to try doing some colony breeding at first, uh, but if that's not successful, we'll definitely get out the spawning mops and see what we can do. So speaking of location specific, I did pick up these gardener eye from UK, but unfortunately I did lose the male, which is kind of a bummer but I still have the female in this 15 gallon tank. So it's time to get on the hunt for a new male. I am definitely pretty excited to have these Aphia simian australia in the fish room as well. This is the orange variant. And these are really great fish for small tanks. These are native to Gabon in Africa, close to the Ugue River. I have these in a five gallon tank, which is also planted with guppy grass. From the beginning of the show, these fish really did catch my eye, and I am pretty excited to be able to score these fish at the auction. This is definitely another species I am pretty excited to get breeding. Continuing on here are the Aphio simian species Gene Huberi. This species was first described in 2015, and like the other fish that we've discussed earlier, these fish are native to Africa, where they're found in Gabon and the Congo. I really do enjoy the pinkish color on these fish, and these fish kind of look like Antheus from the saltwater world. But this is another fish I'm really interested in raising and finding out more about. I didn't find a lot of information when I was researching these fish, so it's definitely a fish I'm pretty excited to learn more about. I really do enjoy learning and keeping new species of fish. So I'm definitely glad I didn't make the trip out to South Bend to the Killy Carnival, because it was definitely a lot of fun, and I definitely have a lot to learn. So I definitely do want to thank the organizers of the Killy Carnival and the Michiana Aquarium Society for putting on such a great event. So definitely we'll be going back again in the future. So that being said, stay safe, stay fishy, and I'll catch you on the next video.